Subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Uh, and if you're new, welcome. Today, I am going to share with you why I DIY uh, when it comes to my hair. And I definitely do not recommend this for everyone, uh, especially if you're not comfortable doing certain certain processes because you can really mess up your hair and mishaps do happen and they've happened to me but i am probably a lot more comfortable doing certain things than maybe somebody else might be but you definitely always want to err on the side of caution so so i do have to say that i have really learned a lot on youtube and even when it comes to hair, I've learned some really neat techniques and that sort of thing. And I've also discovered that sometimes you may run into a hairdresser that really doesn't have your best interests in mind. And if you do have a hairdresser that you trust and that you love, hold on to them for dear life. I do know that for me, I would feel like some of the ideas that I had, um, they would shoot down or I even kind of felt maybe a little bit like they were judging me for some of the things that I did want to do uh, with my hair. And when I was really starting to think about wanting to go gray, I was at that time actually getting highlights put into my into my hair and I've done highlights for years but I remember asking my my hairdresser if there was a way of actually using my my gray uh, hair as highlights because at that time what they would do would be um, coloring my roots with my with dark brown and then turning around and using um, and and then adding the highlights. And when I asked, you know, can we, you know, not do that and just grow out my my grays, use those. Um, I was told that no, that that wasn't how it was done. When I did mention that I was interested in in going gray, my hairdresser was like, no, you know, that'll just I was discouraged from doing that. And I have heard from of lots of, of women that their hairdresser does, does discourage them as well, telling them that they will look old and that sort of thing. And I remember this was around the time that younger women were actually really uh, coming out with, uh, with dyeing their hair gray. So things were starting to change in that direction, but it was before there was that movement of a lot of women ditching their dye and letting their gray hair uh, grow out. I think that actually started, it was, you know, kind of around COVID 2020s was when you did see, uh, see a lot of that happening. I was spending a lot of money and a lot of time in the in the salon and I wasn't even getting really what I wanted with my hair so that's when I had decided I wanted to start dabbling a bit on my own I actually did have a lot of fun and I did save myself a lot of of money as well as when you're you know when I would be say either bleaching my hair or coloring it while my hair was being processed, I could still do things around the house. I wasn't just sitting, sitting somewhere, uh, waiting, waiting for that to, to be done. And it was really funny how my hairdresser wasn't able to blend my grays, yet I could. So Now, I do want to say that I have the links of all of the products that I used, bleaching, coloring, toning my hair, in the description box below so please feel free to use those links they will get you directly to that product on amazon and if you make a purchase within that 24 hours of clicking on that link i will get a small percentage of that sale so i do want to thank you in advance for helping support my channel 
Um, another way you can also support my channel is by liking and uh, subscribing, as well as sharing my videos with anybody you think might be interested in, in my content. And all of those options are free. So again, I thank you for your support. So if you're kind of running into the same issue with your hairdresser, they're not, they're not supporting you um, with what you want to do with your hair, it might be time to find another one. It's my personal opinion that they don't want you to go gray and they'll discourage you because in their mind, they're thinking I'm going to lose a customer or at least lose the money that you're spending on, on coloring your hair. And that's a lot. They also aren't maybe willing or interested in going back and getting that additional training when dealing with gray hair. And they're doing themselves a big disservice because the ones that are, are then able to, you know, they don't have as much competition and they're able to ask top dollar for, for those services. I always think of Jack Martin, he was one who mastered his technique and he's able to transition a woman in one day. But I haven't checked lately, but I know at one point I did, he's able to ask $4,000 to start and you have to actually fly to him. So that de the demographic um, is getting larger and larger of women and men who who have gray hair and they are still going to want uh want services there's there's highlights there's low lights there's um temporary color solutions there's root smudges there's balayage and the beauty is it doesn't get much lighter than your gray white hair so you don't then have to go through the bleaching process. So people need to really start thinking outside the box and realize just how many options they, they really do have. Just because we're going gray does not mean that we're not going to want to change it up, that we're still going to want to have fun with our hair, make changes. And so if you find a hairdresser who is willing to do all of that and knows those techniques, hold on to them for dear life and share them with your friends. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.